In humans, the production of sperm, called spermatogenesis, occurs in tubules within the male's testes. Oogenesis, which is the production of mature eggs capable of being fertilized, occurs in the ovaries. Both processes require multiple steps. At puberty and throughout the rest of the life of the male, diploid precursor cells proliferate by mitosis. Some of these cells become primary spermatocytes that are ready for meiosis. In females, a similar process occurs, but it does so before birth. Diploid precursor cells proliferate by mitosis, and some of them then develop into primary oocytes that are ready for meiosis. In males, the primary spermatocytes undergo the process of meiosis. The first meiotic division, or meiosis I, produces two haploid secondary spermatocytes. The second meiotic division, or meiosis II, produces a total of four haploid cells that mature into sperm cells capable of fertilizing an egg. In this way, millions of sperm are produced each day. In females before birth, the primary oocytes begin the process of meiosis. However, the cells stop the process during the first meiotic division. At birth, a human female has one to two million primary oocytes suspended in meiosis one. By the time of puberty, only about 400,000 viable primary oocytes remain. Each month from puberty to menopause, several primary oocytes continue their development, but typically only one successfully develops into a mature egg. Meiosis I results in the formation of two haploid cells, a large secondary oocyte and a smaller polar body, each containing a single complete set of chromosomes. The polar body plays no further role in oogenesis and reproduction. The haploid secondary oocyte then begins a second meiotic division. In the middle of meiosis II, the secondary oocyte is released into the oviduct. Meiosis II is completed only if the secondary oocyte is fertilized by a sperm. Note that the supply of a female's primary oocytes is limited, and once a primary oocyte develops into a mature ovum, it is consequently removed from the supply. In contrast, throughout the life of the mature male, the diploid precursor cells replenish themselves, providing a never-ending source of primary spermatocytes. Also noteworthy is that in a normal 28-day menstrual cycle, a human female produces only one mature egg while a male produces about 200 million sperm every day.